What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to remove scratches from your iPod, um, though this is an iPod Nano 3rd generation, <clears throat> but you can use iPod touches that have the shiny background, you can see it's like shining the, the shiny background. Like so um, I'm going to remove all the scratches from this, uh, use, I'm making it have a nice brushed metal kind of look. And I'm sorry about the um, table, how it's all gross and whatnot. And how the camera angle, I think, is a little um, sideways and loose from the tripod because I'm using an iPod and it's there's nothing to hold up. So I just use rubber bands around it. It's leaning sideways. If I touch it, it's going to collapse. And, okay, moving on. Um, and uh, to get this brush metal, if you know what brush metal looks, a brush metal kind of look is, then that's the result you're going to get. But if you don't, I might uh, take a picture off the internet and put it in this video. Um, I'll stop the video now so I can show you that. So um, I took the time after the video was done to record this over again so I could put it in the middle where I said stop it. And uh, I did. And here's the finished result. It's not the finished result to it. It's almost finished. You can still see a couple scratches on there. This is a... Kinda, it kind of has that beginning... Not really the beginning. Kind of... Kind of that middle look to it when it's like halfway through so you can see that little streak right there you get it's that's good so yeah I did the sides too the sides are pretty good uh, an iPod so it's hard or recordings so it's hard to use one hand to do that so you can still see a big scratch right there like way right here somewhere All right there yeah you can see that right okay and um if you do this long enough, it should look fine. So I'm gonna go back to the video now, and uh, that's that's kind of the look it's gonna get. And I know I cut myself off when I was talking, but um, uh, what you're gonna need is a Scotch Bright sponge. I got this from a Hairs Teeter um, tonight. This cost about 99 cents. Well, it was on sale, so it might cost about a dollar fifty anywhere else. So if you don't have a Scotch Bright sponge. It has to be a new Scotch Bright sponge. As you can see. On the package right now. Turn this into an unboxing or an unwrapping thing, I guess. Okay, so it's gonna have to have this little green part on it right here. So this is hard abrasive side to it. And uh, this is the heavy duty kind. Um, recommend that you use the regular square kind. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. I've used the regular kind for a long time, but um, okay. But this is what you're going to have to do. You're just going to take it, put it on the back. Simple. Just this is going to go up and down. Really softly. Just for a little while. And as you can see, it, there's nothing, there's no really, there's no, not a big difference. But if, if you're looking at it without the um, camera, you can see, you can see those little streaks down it. It will give it kind of, well, as the picture just shows you. If I did show you a picture, because... As I told you, I was going to stop it. Well, I guess I did. But um, all you have to do is kind of just go up and down like this for a long while. I know it, it takes a little while. But um, when I was doing this on my iPod Touch 4th generation, it um, it didn't take that long, really. You can see, you can already start to see that uh, um, streak right there when I put it up against the light. But it still has a lot of scratches on there, as you can tell. It's, I mean, on my iPod Touch 4th generation, when I used it, before it broke and I got a refurbished one, from the one I'm using right now. Um, it uh, only took about a couple minutes, maybe about five minutes. Because I just got in and I was really excited because the back had been scratched up with a knife because I was trying to get the get this stupid riot case off. And, um, never get those cases, ever, 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 ever. riot cases, it's awful. But, um, uh, it was cut up with a knife really, really badly. You can see, oh, you can see it's got that better streak looking thing to it. Alright, yeah, that's kind of how you do it, but when I was, I'm gonna do this the whole way through so you can see how long it takes for this third generation iPod Nano. Um, 
And I've uh, heard that this is also works. This works better when you're doing just a, up like this, but that takes a heck of a long time. So I'm just going to do this. It works perfectly for me when I use it on my iPod 4th generation of touch. Okay, as you can see, it's actually starting to work. But, um, so you can, you can, well, if I pull up to the light, you can see there's a bunch of scratches on the side because I haven't been getting the side that well. Top, yeah, sides are all scratchy still. But I trust me, this does work. But the iPod, unfortunately, does not work. I mean, this is the, the brush metal didn't cause this. It's been broken with the washer. So. Might just be a lot right now. I mean, it has a very dim screen, but it works barely. Yeah, it's on, but you can't see anything. You see that little itty bitty crown. Okay, you can see words. It says resume game. Oh, okay. But, um, let's turn it off. Okay. That's kind of the whole point to it. All you have to do is go up and down for a little while. And this gives it a smooth kind of feel to it. It doesn't feel all like scratchy like when you go side to side like this it feels very smooth um one of my friends had like after i had actually brushed metal used the uh sponge to make it all brush to get that brush metal look it um my friends picked it up and was like whoa what's that, what happened to you what happened to the back of the ipod and um like i saw and he was like whoa it's so smooth and he started like rubbing it like it was really weird yeah. But it, it was really, it, the point is, it's really smooth, it's not, um, all scratchy feeling, it, it, it's, that's, um, kind of the reason why I used it on my, uh, I thought that's fourth generation, I had all that, I had all those knife marks on it, and cuts, because it continuously cut my skin, cut my fingers, and there's no marks anymore, but it was a little while ago. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty much all you have to do. Um, uh, so if you keep doing that, it will turn out pretty perfect. Well, not perfect, but it'll be, you know, what I showed you earlier. Um, scotch Brite sponge. Use the heavy duty kind. And, um, has to have this green thing, as I told you before. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please, please subscribe. I have zero subscribers. Yeah. But, um, please subscribe and comment and like, please. It would be very helpful.